Today I'm explaining how to file Form 1040X, the amended U.S. income tax return. You can see the return behind me here. This is your federal amended tax return. At the top here, you can see this is the 27 version, which you should file the 2017 version of 1040X if you're amending your return in 2017. And you can see here, there's 2016. You can just check the box for whichever tax year applies. You only wanna check one box. Enter other calendar year or fiscal year. Usually you will leave this blank. That is not common for individuals to have a different calendar year other than the standard 1231. Down here, you'll enter your first name and initial followed by your last name and social security number. If you did file a joint return with your spouse, be sure to list your names in the same order as they were filed on the return you're amending. In other words, if your husband's name went first and then your name as a spouse second, be sure to list them that way on the amended return. It's not a fine if you don't do it that way, but it can prevent issues. So for your address, you wanna enter your current address, not necessarily the address you reported on the form that you're amending. Down here at the amended return filing status. So you want to check whichever status you initially filed on that return. And you can see that on form 1040, your individual tax form, the first page directly below your personal information, you will see your filing status. If you didn't have any penalty for not having health care during that year, you can check yes, because that means that you and all members of your family had the minimum health care requirement. If you're filing this return because of an NOL, a net operating loss from activity on your personal return, be sure to check this box because when you have an NOL, it automatically carries back two years. And the way it does that is by amending your prior year return. So if you're doing this for that reason, you need to check this box. So here you can see the majority of this return, the bulk of it, it's just these two pages, is primarily filing your originally fired, filed numbers in column A and then entering any change for each subtotal line item in this middle column, and then entering the corrected amount in the third column. Down here is where only in this C column where there's numbers to calculate the amount due or refund due. If you have a refund due to you, you can select if you want it applied to a future year or estimated taxes. If you're making changes for your personal information, such as dependents, you will come over and complete part one first. If you are not making changes to your exemptions, part two is also completely optional. Part three is where you explain the reason you're making any of these changes. And then at the bottom of page two is where you sign and date. And of course, if you're married filing joint, your spouse must sign and date as well. If you paid someone to file this form for you, they should fill out this bottom section under paid prepare use only, and they should have all of that information filled in. Back up to the top. The bulk of the reporting sections here, column A, B, and C, you should be copying all of column A directly from the return you already filed. It starts by reporting adjusted gross income, which is the main subtotal on your form 1040. It's at the bottom of page one or at the top of page two. You'll only have amounts in column B where the changes effect. So if income, if your income was missing an amount and you're filing this return with more income, then that amount will be in this middle column as a positive number. You'll put parentheses around the number if it was negative. And then the corrected total is in column C. Every line should have an amount down to taxable income, line five. 
from there, it's only if you actually have the amounts on your return. But column B, you'll only have an amount wherever there's a difference from column A to column C. And if you owe money with this return, you don't include it. And instead, you can check out my videos on setting up a payment plan or using a voucher to make your payment with the IRS. You can also check out my other videos, do I need to file an amended return and how to file an amended return. If you need help with your amended return, be sure to check out my website, amandarussell.mba. Don't put this off. Once you get it off your shoulders, you can move on and not be as stressed out. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Bye.